Hello, all right, I am back. So we are now on Forza. I need to put myself in streaming mode actually, just in case <laughs> the audio screws me over. Hang on. There we go. Right, okay. So yeah, the new car pack has just come out. I was streaming dirt and then they decided to tweet that the new car pack's available. So yeah, here we are. <laughs> An unexpected turn. Um, so there are six new cars included in the Hot Wheels car pack that you can access from the main menu or from the DLC cars option, uh, which is where I am right now, as you would have seen. And yeah, I apparently have them purchased already. I'm assuming I need to actually claim them. Um, I don't really care about design. I'm just gonna keep them all normal designs. Yes, I shall take this. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna test all of them out, drive every single car in this live stream. So I don't know how long it'll be. It might be an hour, might be two. And I think there's a Forzathon live literally right outside at the moment. Uh, so yeah, we have the first one, which is the 2Jet Z or the 2Jets, however you want to pronounce it. Um, yeah, very nice Hot Wheels car. It's uh, one of two cars within the game as well that has the funky interior. Um, like Hood, obviously, when you look out of it, it will be orange if you go into cockpit view. What can you explode? Just that. Okay, literally just that. That's fine. Uh, okay, so yeah, we shall drive this stock. Well, actually, first of all, I should probably take all the cars. That would help, wouldn't it? So I've got that. There we go. Uh, the pack itself as well, um, I believe, is about £8 off of the Microsoft Store, so about $10 US. Um, if you have Game Pass, you get it cheaper, so I think I saved like 80p. Any savings are saving, so I'll take it. What was this car called? Um, Chevrolet Love. This is the next one. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll get them all, then we'll go through them in order of uh, gameplay and stuff. Round one complete. Get to round two. Yes, I would like to choose this car. Hey Patrick, thank you for joining, how are you? I am absolutely buzzing for this car pack. As soon as I saw they were announcing it, I was like, finally we're getting some more Hot Wheels cars added to the game. You can't go wrong, you can't go wrong. Boot at the front, <laughs> just got the engine plonked in the back, you know, <laughs> as you do. Yeah, I, I am absolutely, I am very excited, very excited to test all these cars out. Uh, what one have we got next? We've got the big boy, International Harvester. Three designs so far. It shows that it's literally just come out. Have you missed anything? No, um, I'm just claiming the cars at the moment. And then once I've claimed them all, I'll take them all for a spin in the world. I uh, really like your Illuminator videos. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard. Oh, I don't press the wrong button. <laughs> uh, yep. Um, kind of hard to go back to as they've just done no updates for the Illuminator, which is unfortunate. I really wish I added new cars or maybe chucked it into the Lego DLC or the Fortune Island DLC. Would have been pretty sick. Um, but yeah, this is the next one. Uh, <laughs> Just a, just a truck, really. <laughs> Big old truck. Um, is it in the Ultimate Edition or not? No, it is not. So you will have to purchase the um, car pack separately. Um, again, it's about £8 or $10. Um, or obviously varying to wherever you're located in the world. It will obviously be around that kind of region. Uh, right, so there's the next one. Uh, yes, they are in-game right now. I am playing the game live. And claiming all the cars. Got the Studebaker. Yeah, that's fair enough. There's a lot of people um, obviously wanted it with the Ultimate Edition. There's only so much limited like free content they can give you of that. Um, but yeah, I, I know a lot of people weren't too happy that they had to pay for it, which is fine. You know, it's all good. For me, it's content at the end of the day. So I'm fortunate for the bit of cash that I get from YouTube that I can make videos on it. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty sick. Uh, so this is the other one. If you notice a headlight at the front, very interesting. You can tell it's a Hot Wheels car. <laughs> I don't think they've updated any of the engines, so we're going to be stuck with a lot of the engine sounds uh, from before. Okay, I've got two more left. We've got the Nash Metropolitan uh, Custom. Have you heard about the Bugatti Bolide? I think I probably butchered the name of that. Um, 
vaguely. It rings a bell. I heard something about it recently. Not too much, though. I'm surprised we're getting this car pack so soon and so sudden. They literally just tweeted, by the way, the car pack's available. I was like, oh, okay. I'll stop what I'm doing <laughs> and get the car pack. This is kind of like a, in a way, like a tuned car, if you guys know them from Hot Wheels. It's what it kind of reminds me of. Obviously, it's a full-size car, but yeah, it's quite, it's quite diddy, isn't it? Yeah, made it pay. Just... Yeah, it, again, it's it's all down. They, they probably, I don't know, they obviously had this planned uh, to come out, uh, but at the same time, like, we all didn't know how long Horizon 4's life cycle would be. You know, it's the longest one out of all of them. Going on to possibly four years, which is crazy. It's usually the lifespan it has on the store is four years. There we go, the last car is claimed. Look at them thick old wheels at the back. Oh. All right, so we've got all of them. So I am gonna start off with uh, the, what, 2 Jet Z, I think it's called, and we'll go from there. So obviously I'll upgrade all the cars as well as we go through them. There it is, keep it in stock for now. Right. I do not care about Forzathon, not gonna lie, don't care. <laughs> Go away. Oh man, I'm 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 getting done over by this. <laughs> right, here we go. Okay, so yeah, it sounds it Sounds pretty cool to be fair. Obviously I know it's got a super engine in it. It's that little that little ksh. Oh. It's, it feels so weird driving Hot Wheels cars in, in games like this, doesn't it? Like, I remember when they released the uh, Hot Wheels DLC for Horizon 3. That's when it felt normal. And it felt weird driving a normal car in the Hot Wheels DLC. Ha! Huh. Oh, man. Okay, this feels weird. <laughs> this feels so weird. This is probably going to be my favourite one out of all of them. When I saw the car pack launch, I, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, this is this is going to be my favourite, for sure. Out of the cars shown, what ones are you guys interested in? Obviously, I'll have a gameplay of them all, so let me know. Should we take it all? Okay, right, it's definitely rear-wheel drive. Part of me wants to upgrade it, because obviously if it's got a super engine in it, I'm going to go with it's also got very similar upgrades. So, yeah, I'll, I'll see what, like, it's quite quick. Probably reach, what, 200 maybe? So it got seven gears now, it's got six. Okay, maybe not 200, maybe like 170. Right, let's take it back to the festival and let's uh, chuck some upgrades in it. But yeah, very, very cool looking car. I'm going to be saying that about every single one of them. All right, get rid of all that. I uh, just want the festival and the player houses. Uh, didn't mean to put that one on. Right, upgrades and tuning, what have we got? We've got an engine swap, we do. I'm not gonna put it in though, it's too cursed. Make it all wheel drive. Thank you for the free Forza Thon points, didn't even have to do anything. Right, I'm, I'm literally just gonna fully max it, to be honest, that is the way to go with these things. Ooh, 1300 horsepower, all right mate. Uh, keep normal suspension. Can't make it any lighter. Sure, it's all. Yeah, I mean, look how much it weighs. It weighs nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now we won't put the roll cage in. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. 
Is it X Class? Oh man, okay. <laughs> Our first X Class Hot Wheels car. As expected for something with a super engine. Uh, just keep the normal tyres on. Oh man, okay, you can make them thick. Jeez. Can you do it with the rear? Yeah, I'll do it with the rear ones. Won't be able to turn otherwise. Probably keep the wheels the same as well. Yeah, keep it all, keep it all nice and easy. Uh, it is eight pounds off the Microsoft Store or ten dollars US. I don't know if I can pin a comment. Let me, let me have a gander. I, I'm new to all of this uh, streaming stuff. Uh, do, 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 do. That's percent. Let me do that. Can I pin the message? I can. Cool. So that should be, hopefully, at the top of the stream now. For everyone that comes in, it will be there. Right. Uh, okay. So we've done that. I don't want to tune it. Do do. Yeah, it's, it's about, it's, it's around that price, you know. It's not too bad, to be fair. For six cars, I don't think it's too bad. Right, 237 is going to be the top speed this thing will go. I'm sure someone will make a sick tune to make it go like 250 or something, but I'm I'm happy I'm happy with that. Right, take it on over to the motorway. Or do we take it into a race? You failed to score any points. Uh, okay. Very fast. I'm going to have to make a video, this versus Supra, which one's quicker. <laughs> Man, look at the brake lights on the rear wings. That is so cool. Right, let's get it into a race. Um, what do we want to do? Let's get a nice and easy point to point. Ideally a longer one as well. We'll do that one. We'll go with it. Yeah, we'll go with that. Just see, we're going to go up a bunch of uh, X-Class cars. <laughs> they definitely ain't going to be this one. Or are they? Are we going to be... Oh, no, okay, we've got all the other Hot Wheels cars. I stand corrected. We've got all the funky cars in here. Okay, just completely take the fence out. Uh, six cars in total in the pack. Uh, we're currently on the first one now, which is the two jets. Forgive me if I pronounce any of the names wrong of them. They are Hot Wheels cars, and I am a big noob. So we've got five more cars after this one. The last one uh, is probably the most interesting one. Just a hot rod with four mighty wheels at the back of it. Cheers for the uh, likes on the stream as well, everyone. I appreciate it. If you haven't already uh, done so, I would uh, yeah greatly appreciate the likes. Helps get the stream out there to anyone else that is interested in the car packs. But yeah, as an X-Class, this ain't too bad, you know. It, again, it's literally like driving a Supra with a different shell. <laughs> oh my god, I can't turn it. Maybe need to tweak the uh, handling at some point, specifically for this one. Uh, so far of this one, I really enjoy it. Very, very quick. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I enjoy driving a Supra, so anything with an engine in from that car, you're going to love. But yeah, it's quite, hand uh, it's quite hard to handle. As you can see, I am literally throwing it all over the place. Maybe shouldn't have done it to an X-Class. Very, very slidey as well. Man, imagine if they added these to like the Eliminator or something. How cool would that be? Oh my god. Like, they've done no content for the Eliminator for ages. Just chuck the Hot Wheels cars in. There we go. So yeah, first of all, <laughs> very quick, very fun, very slidey. 
drifting. I'm sure this. I'm sure someone will make an absolutely sick tune for this for drifting. And the the interior and cockpit view is, um, as you'll see in a second, very orange, very very orange. <laughs> so yeah. Right, on to the next one, which I actually have no idea what it was. What was the next car? Uh, do Hot Wheels. I'm looking straight at it, yep. Uh, the next one, I can't remember what it was specifically. What was it? I don't think really. Oh, it's a love, wasn't it? There we go. Come on, please be a new engine. I think it is it. I think it is. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure this is a new engine. I mean, if so, cool. I haven't heard it before. I probably have, but it, it sounds decent. <laughs> hey, FPH Gaming, how you doing, man? It's been a while. It has been a while, yeah. I was streaming Dirt, and someone in chat mentioned that the Hot Wheels car pack has finally come out, so I was like, well, I've got to hop on here now, haven't I? Uh, can I increase the game volume? I can. Give me a sec. Uh, let's put it to like, what, minus 25? Right, I've got it to there. So let me know when I'm in a race if it is too loud compared to my mic. I have got a new microphone as well. So it will be much louder. Okay, we've got loads of engine swaps. I kind of want to just keep it with the stock engine for now. I don't, don't want to ruin it. <laughs> don't want to ruin it. Uh, How do you get... Uh, if you have the car pass, uh, you have to purchase it off the store. It's not included with the car pass. It is a complete standalone pack. That's okay. You don't have to apologise. To be fair, I never really say anything about the um, car club. Um, they don't really do too much with it. It's kind of just say, you know, if anyone wants to join, they can. If not, you can leave. Like it, it's all good. There's no hard feelings. Trust. Yeah, as for all of them, just max out the upgrades. No engine swap because we ain't about that over here. You can put drift suspension on. Very interesting. I may have to do a separate video just sliding this thing around. Do do. I keep doing that. I keep forgetting there's only one upgrade there. So this one probably won't be as quick, which is fine. It's all good. What wheels can we put? What do we want to keep it as? Probably S1. Uh, you know, just chuck them on. As we are going to be going into a race with it, so... Unless we do an off-road race. Hmm. You know what? Actually, no, nah, we're not going to. You can put front spacers on, but you can't do rear spacers. I'm pretty sure this is, what, one of the first cars <laughs> that has this? Okay. I'm just going to do it because you can. Great, okay. Um, 69k, nice. Don't know if you should get it. Uh, it's again, entirely up to you. If you want to watch a bit of gameplay of the car, see if you would be interested, you're more than welcome to watch the stream. Um, it is a fairly cheap car pack. Uh, but again, entirely up to you. Right, tuning, just make it, make sure it... Oh, okay, no, it already goes. That's not very quick at all, is it? 187? That's fine. That is fine. Right, I might struggle one of the races then. I feel like this is going to be great for drag racing as well. I'm not just saying that because it's got an engine plonked in the back of it. Sounds very nice as well. Oh, for sure, yeah. I, I mean, I've only driven one of the cars properly so far, and I absolutely love it. So, yeah, it's, it's very fun, <laughs> and I've only driven one. It feels like it wants to... Oh, it is lifting at the front. I'll try and do that again off this corner. Give me a minute. I don't know if you can see. It's very hard to tell, but you can kind of see the front end of this car lift. What's it called again? The Chevrolet Love. Okay, that is cool. That is awesome. Didn't even have to do anything to it. Right, so if we chuck that into another race. Let's do... Uh, what do we want to do? We'll do another road racing one, and then I think I'll take the next one into a off-road race. What have we got? Uh, mm, I want to do something with a nice straight on it. Yeah, we'll do that one. 
Yeah, the Harvester, I think that's the next one, actually. So I'm going to take that into an off-road race for sure. Right, let's go. Should hopefully have all the Hot Wheels cards again joining us. Yeah, you've got to buy the car back. You sell them for 20 million. That's mad. I'm not, I mean, to be fair, even if you want to buy them again, yeah, you can buy them for 100k. It's crazy. Of course, it's raining. Wouldn't be Britain if it wasn't raining, would it? Does anyone know if this is a if this is like a unique car sound? Oh, there's another teaser for a, one of the other Hot Wheels cars. There's the big thick boy. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this is a new engine sound, but again, I, I could be wrong. I, I'm not too familiar with a lot of the muscle cars, so forgive me there. Man, look at the... Oh, okay, I got that. I thought I missed the checkpoint there. Look at the two jets all the way up there. Am I going to be able to catch him? I should be able to. Come on. Right, I might actually come second in a race. This never happens. But as you know, no, we'll be, we'll be fine. I remember this straight up here. We're good. Slide it. Oh, okay. It was pulling a wheelie. It just it just wants to do it. I, I already know for a fact someone's going to make a wheelie build for this. 100%. You can just see it every time I kind of like slightly turn. So yeah, what I'll do at the end is I'll probably take them over to the motorway and just do like a top speed test on all the vehicles just to see what, like, you know, obviously how quick they can go. And, uh, and that'll be it. But yeah, so that's two vehicles down so far. If any of you are late, you can scrub back on the stream if you want to check out the uh, two jets. Very, very fast boy. Yeah, it's, it sounds new. I, I personally like it, to be fair. It's nice to finally have something different. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. It doesn't really sound like too much of an American muscle. I completely agree with you there. New Camaro would be nice. To be fair, I was very surprised with the two new Mustangs they're adding in. Obviously, we've got the, uh, what, uh, 1,000 next week, is it? The week after. Right, so let's go back to Hot Wheels. And next up, we have the International Harvester. Okay, it's 1969 Hot Wheels. It's kind of weird from the side. It does, yeah, it does look very odd. This one, though, it's going to be like driving the uh, Iron Knight, pretty much, isn't it? <laughs> like, look at it. Just got a big old wing on the bottom. What does it sound like? Okay, yep. Yeah, so we've all obviously already had this before. From the inside. <laughs> so it's not very quick already. But we're definitely going to do an off-road event in this. Probably going to go from this view as well, so I can actually kind of just see everything. Ooh, it doesn't turn very well either. Kind of what you expect from a truck. <laughs> hey, Marcus, how you doing? Uh, you do not, Joel. No, you have to buy it separately. Uh, unfortunately, it's not included with the Ultimate Edition. Right, yeah, very bouncy at the back as well. Look at the suspension go, man. So, yeah, this... <laughs> It's not very fast. So let's take it back to the take it back to the festival or a player house. It doesn't really matter. We'll go wherever. About to roll down the hill. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I am surprised with the uh, sudden release of the car pack just coming out of nowhere, but hey, can't complain. 
Can't complain. Right. Is it already four wheel drive? No, it's not. Engine swaps. I think we're going mm. So I know I said I wasn't going to put an engine swap in it. I think we're going to have to just because of how slow it is. But at the same time, I don't know. Nah, nah, we're not going to. I might, depending. If it's significantly slow, then I may change. <laughs> I'm hoping the race transmission uh, sorts it. Yeah, I'll, I'll see how it goes. If it, oh, okay, I don't, I don't want to be doing that. <laughs> we'll keep it off road. Can put weight reduction in it as well. Right. Come on, please. No, oh no, <laughs> oh no, 145 miles an hour, right, bear with, we'll see what it's like in the tuning, and if it is absolute pants, then I will change it, don't worry, right, we'll put off-road tyres on it as well, because that's what we're going to be doing, uh, I'll keep the wheels as they are, can I bumper, nope, can you add a spoiler to the spoiler, I, I honestly want to do it, just because of how cursed it is, I look how stupid it looks. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm sorry. Please don't hate me, but it's got to be done. Right. Uh, do you agree that the Devo is as powerful as it should be? Um, yeah, I, I believe it's fine. Uh, there's always one car in every game that's just over the top, isn't it? Buff stock engines. I know they need to do it. They need to sort out the stock, uh, stock engines, man. Right. Here we go. Look out! Look at all of the gears missing. <laughs> right, it can only go 158, 145. I mean, it's going to be fast. <laughs> oh, I know it looks it looks so dumb. Oh man! Right, here we go. Moment of truth. Okay, it's it's very fast, like off the line, but it's not got a good top speed. But that's fine for rallying. I'm literally smiling in laughter at how stupid the wing on top of a wing looks. Oh man. Okay. Right, let's let's take it to a let's take it to a race. Uh what do you want to do? You wanna do a dirt wanna do wanna do a cross country? I'll see what comes up. Um hmm. I don't want to go through mud kickers. That's the last place I want to go to. Um, we'll do that one. Why not? Should be six pound. Yeah, I'm sure it'll probably go down in price soon. To be fair, they don't really last that full price for too long. Double wang gang. <laughs> that is this one right here, the harvester. Yeah, it should hopefully have some jumps in the dirt bit. Forza is best is back in the chat. Hello, my dude. Thank you for joining back. Yeah, uh, a lot of people saying it will be included again. I, I personally don't mind. Um, I kind of expected it wouldn't be just because obviously they need to make, you know, some money. So like, as a standpoint, I completely get it. But at the same time, it is it's a bit, a bit of a shame. I'm sure a lot of people probably won't pick it up and probably just watch gameplay of, you know, like um, all the YouTubers that will upload it. Come on. You can get some air. Maybe I should have taken it to Mug Kickers. Hmm. Very fun to drive. So yeah, so far every single uh, Hot Wheels car that I've driven, which has only been three of them, have been very, very fun. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Oh, I forgot that I put myself in that view. Hang on, give me a minute. I'll change after this corner. Ooh. There we go. But right, not that one. There we go. Look <laughs> all the rain. It's going wild. It's having a party. Uh, 
Um, I have absolutely no idea what track it is. <laughs> I, I didn't actually look, to be fair. I kind of just hovered over it and went with it. Let's come out of that. Oh, get some air. Bit of air. Should have done a cross country, probably, shouldn't I? I'll do it for the um, for the jewelry at the end. I'll do a cross country event. Should have some nice jumps in there. God, imagine these in the Super Seven as well. People can literally make their Hot Wheels tracks now, can't they? I know we obviously had the cars before, but you got so many options. So yeah, this one's not the quickest. Again, I haven't got an engine swap in it. But, as you can see, smoked them all. So yeah, not bad. I might quickly put the engine swap in it and um, see, see like what the upgrades and stuff are on it. So I'll quickly do that for this one, only because it's so slow. Also, out of interest to you that are here, what's your thoughts on the player houses within Forza? Do you think they're a good idea or do you think they're bad? I personally, not really too big of a fan of them because I, aside from now, I literally never use them. <laughs> um, it's kind of like I'm also making a video as well in regards to this and other things. So feedback would be greatly appreciated. Uh, right, let's change the engine. Let's chuck, <laughs> let's chuck the racing V8. Oh man, right, here we go. Put the supercharger as well. I'm, I'm gonna keep the wings, don't you worry. Yeah, for sure. I um I completely agree with all of you. We we need more festival sites. At the end of the day, the game needs to feel like a festival, doesn't it? Like I think um Horizon One obviously did it best, um, with the main site, and then you had the little uh, points around and then Horizon three actually I thought was pretty good. You had all the different locations around Australia. Uh which I thought I uh, actually to be fair, they were probably the best. Right, I think a lot of them are already installed, which is uh which is all good. Yeah, like test drive as well. Good shout. I guess it's just combining a lot of the things really and putting it into one. I don't think we're not going to get much more speed out of this thing, are we? Even with the VA, I think that's it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it, it, it does kind of suck just having one. It feels like they went from the first one and kind of just went back. It's like, no, <laughs> we need more festival sites. Right. I, I feel as sick as you guys, don't worry. <laughs> I hate it. It is just a curse, isn't it? I think every everyone who plays Forza just agrees. When you put the engine swap in, it is just a curse. Oh man. Hopefully in the next horizon they um add more festival sites or something. It would be great. Right, yeah, this is not very quick. Tops at about 160, even with the engine swap. And that is cool, because we are going to jump into the next car. Let's take them out for now, because I have no idea what's up next. Uh, next open lobby. Uh, now that I'm getting back into streaming, it would have to be a weekend, but I conveniently work weekends, uh, which is a pain. So possibly a Friday evening, if that's good for you guys. Uh, I'll keep you all posted. Um, if any of you follow me on Twitter, I'll post it there. Or if you um, obviously keep an eye on YouTube, I'll do a community post just saying about it. Uh, yes, I will get onto them uh, as we tick off the list. So the next one I think is actually the... No, it's not. It is the Studebaker. Studebaker, then the Nash Metropolitan or whatever it's called. And then the Jewelry. So we've got this one next, which has the really cool headlight. Um, can I view it quickly? Explode. Yeah, look how, oh man, look how cool that is. Right, yeah, let's uh, see what it's like stock. New car sound? 
Yeah? I don't know. It sounds nice. <laughs> Slidey. Yeah, it's awesome. It's such a... I remember when I was watching the stream on this, it was such an interesting concept, wasn't it? Like, obviously the boot is just so weirdly placed. Like, the whole thing is weird, but it's understandable. Like, look at it. It's just like an odd shape. The light as well. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. That's definitely not the feature of this, aside from it being very, <laughs> very strange. I don't know why, but it kind of just reminds me of a bathtub. I, again, no idea why. So yeah, stock, I don't think this thing will be too quick. Uh, let's have a look. I, I don't think it's probably got too many. It's struggling to keep in third. A uh, three. It has, it has three gears. <laughs> Looks like a cyberpunk car. Just take out the fences. I oh, know, literally, I was thinking that. What, what bathtubs have I been in? <laughs> Some futuristic kind of bathtub right there. Right. Yeah, very funky. Interior is pretty sick as well. Not that you can really see much of it. But let's get on over back to the festival and upgrade it. Uh, yep, you do indeed have to buy the car pack. I've got a pin at the top if you want to see the price. Uh, but yeah, it is a purchasable pack. It is not included with the Ultimate Edition, unfortunately. Uh, right. So, do, 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 do. what have we got? Stock, 528 horsepower. It weighs a lot compared to the two jets. So that's, what, half of this? It's crazy. Right, you can put an engine swap in it. Again, we're going to keep it stock for now. And depending on if it's... Uh, not very good, then we may change it. But for now, I am happy. I am happy with this. Yeah, I was actually kind of goosed on money and then I've got like a second business that I do and I had a sale come through. So I was like, right, put it towards this. Like, it literally came through at a perfect timing. Like, I wasn't going to get it straight away. And then I saw that that came through, and I was like, right, we're doing it. We're going to stream it. I'm not putting the drift suspension on it. Uh, do It's going to be interesting to race, I think, this one, because it's not going to be too quick, as expected, which is fine. Right. S1. Mm. I kind of want to keep it A, but at the same time, I don't. It's fine. We'll do that. Just make them ones. Can you put anything? You can. Put a spoiler on it. You can put a little lip on it. Nah. I'll keep it off. It doesn't look stupid enough. I like the harvester that look ridiculous with the spoiler on top of a spoiler. Uh, top speed. What can it go? Right. Let's let's actually have a sixth gear. There we go. Instead of three stock. 173. Where did you get your Series X? Um, I got it from game. It was really weird. Um, I had like the money put aside because I got the PlayStation November um, when it came out. I was very lucky to manage to pre-order. I literally stayed up till like 5 a.m. just to get one. And the Series X has popped up randomly on game's website. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, so yeah, that's basically how I got it. It's just a pot of luck. Uh, they are gradually coming back in stock, which is nice. Um, all of the scalpers are getting what they deserved and, you know, buying like 20 of them to sell. I mean, hey, like end of the day, if you look at it in a sense of making money, you know, why not? But it's down to the people. If you want to spend like double the price, that's up to them. I didn't want to do that. But yeah, I got, I got very lucky. Right, so the handling is absolutely awful on this yeah i know 5 a.m just to get the ps5 i haven't the last time i played it properly was when spider-man miles morales came out which was what the same the next week of the ps5 so yeah i haven't played it in a while obama is back 
Uh, can we have face cam soon? Uh, yes, I'll get back on it when I get back into streaming again. I shall have my face there for you guys. Uh, what are we going to do? Uh, do another road racing event. Uh, do, 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 do. Mm. I want to do like a... Do you want to do that one? Yeah, we'll do that one. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the sub. Thank you very much. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Don't want to do that. I'll create my own blueprint. Do that. Rods and customs. Open. Yar and the Hot Wheels. Um, I'm not too sure if I'll be streaming again this Friday. Um, it all depends what's going on. Um, I am trying to like make videos as well. Obviously, I haven't uploaded for a week. Um, I've got a couple in the works at the moment. They just take quite a while to make. Uh, but if I am streaming, I will give like an hour before I go live. So you should get some sort of notification. Uh, just obviously say. Um, but to be honest, I wasn't even going to go live today. It's only because they went live like right now with the Hot Wheels pack. So yeah, very, very interesting. To any of those that are new to the stream, this is the fourth car out of the six new ones, the Studebaker, which I have described to look at like a bathtub, which I'm clearly high as a kite saying that. It doesn't, but it looks very interesting. Get out of the way. Thank you. Uh, this one's not very quick, but it's all good. It is all good. It's still fun. Every car is still fun. And it actually sounds nice as well. The wheels are also gorgeous, nice and chrome. Um, I don't know if I'll do a open lobby specifically then. If I've got like nothing to do, uh, like content wise for Forza and I do go live on the Friday, it will more than likely be an open lobby. Uh, it's just by checking the title really. I'll either do um, like a top 1000 video, you know, kind of what Dubs does. Um, I may, may stream something like that. I've always wanted to do it before. I did it once and it didn't go too well. Uh, but I'll either do that or I'll do an open lobby of you guys. Uh, so yeah, I'll just chuck it in the title. Come on. The handling on this is awful. Oh my god. Um, it'll probably be a normal time in the evening, so I'd, I'd probably say half six to seven. It's usually a good time for when everyone's, you know, um, done for the day with work or like college work, school work, whatever you're doing. It's usually after I have dinner as well, so yeah. Good evening, watching from Norfolk, UK. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Been playing Wreck racing games and Forza Motorsport. I am looking forward to the new Motorsport, uh, especially if it's a new reboot. I am absolutely buzzing for that. Yeah, do you, do you mean Wreckfest? Um, I haven't actually played that before. I, I want to play it one day. I, I could stream it, to be fair. I could stream me playing Wreckfest. It would be interesting. Uh, but yeah, the, the Studebaker, very interesting. I still like it, but it's not my favourite. I still think the two jets, or, or to be honest, the Harvester. I actually really like the Harvester. Just because of how much of a meme that thing is. Um, hey, Veron, thank you. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm not doing too bad, man. Thank you for asking. Hope you're doing good. Thanks for tuning into the stream. Right, so that is the Studebaker done with the. Hang on, let me. There it is. So yeah, this is it. Okay, right. I didn't realise it. It spat flames like that. Oh. All right, okay. Don't worry, this is climbing back up in the rankings for me. Right, we're gonna go get the, what, number five? Yeah, fifth car now, which is the uh, Hot Rod. Which I, is, I don't know, it looks, it looks like a tuned car. If you guys are obviously familiar with Hot Wheels, which I'm sure you are, you'll know what I mean when I say a tuned car. Uh, but to me, that's just what it looks like. It, it could actually be based off that, to be fair. Yeah, literally one pop-up headlight. Very, very strange. Right. Man, the engine on this. Like, it's got two dice on it. <laughs> when I saw that on the stream, I was like, okay, this is this is awesome. Going to be a bit a bit weird going from the interior view. 
You've even got dice on the, um, you've got dice everywhere, man. Got a few buttons. Even a little air freshener in the middle. The wheels look so odd as well. Uh, have you got Fortune Island? Yes, I have everything. I have Fortune Island, I have the Lego Speed Champions DLC, the whole shebang. Completed it all as well. This one does spit flames as well. Okay, it did. There we go. I think drive, yeah. 100% driving from an interior view on this is going to be wild. You can't see it. It's like the um, twin mill, isn't it? Twin mill's got a huge old engine on the front. Right, has only got three gears. Okay. Very slidey. Very, very slidey. The wheels on this are awesome. And it's definitely rear wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, it does. It looks like a comedy car, doesn't it? Oh man, okay. I, I love the design for this. They've really they've really done a good job. Done an absolutely amazing job. Right, take him out to the festival and let's upgrade it. Um I think it's just the moulding of it at the back. I don't know what that that thing in the middle, the square, is meant to be. I have absolutely no idea. Unless that's like how you open the boot. I don't know. Let me let me explode it when I go into the uh festival. Uh, Forza Vista, does it open? No, it doesn't. Right, I, I don't know. I actually have no idea. Um, yeah, I think that's just a moulding. But again, it could be classed as a dent, I guess. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Upgrades and tune in. Right. No, I'm not going to do an engine swap. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Parachute, it could be. <laughs> Who knows? All right, come on. Let's try and get it up to hopefully S1. This car's funnier than Jimmy Carr. I like that. Uh, I wonder what you can do with the wheels on it. It's a parachute. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm not too, like, although I love Hot Wheels, I, I'm never really too, like, up to date with everything. So thank you. A spare wheel holder. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Cause it looks like it. I, yeah. It looks like it can open. Uh, right, we're not gonna put we're not gonna put drift on for it. Oil leak trap for the racers behind. <laughs> I tell you, one game they need to bring back, or like do a remake of. Blur. Ah, oh, I miss that game so much. If they ever made something like that, big black square, yeah. So there's not too many upgrades available. You can get it to S1, which is great. Oh, I can't. I don't want to ruin the wheels. Mmm. You can put vintage ones, but yeah, there's. Oh, no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna keep. Gonna keep the normal wheels on. It kind of just ruins the whole vibe, you know. So we will keep them like that. I'm not gonna change any of the wheels around. I'm not gonna put the little. <laughs> it it literally does look like a meme, doesn't it? This car. It, it's just a meme. Uh, it's not, unfortunately, it's not free for Ultimate Edition holders. Now you have to buy it. See you later. Forza is the best. Thank you for tuning in. Make a drag build. I have absolutely no idea how to do drag builds. Why did I add that? No, get rid of it. Um, I'll have a look on tuning and see if there is one. Oh, for sure, yeah. There's no way you'd be changing the white wall tyres on this. Uh, do the tuning. Should have six gears now, right? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. That guy's quite quick as well, you know. For an A-Class as well. Is this going to be like the new competitor for A-Class racing online? It's like a pug. You know what? I kind of see the resemblance. I kind of see it. I feel like we're going to struggle in a race with this. <laughs> It's just so... I'm, I'm just, like, trying to wrap my head around it. It's so weird, isn't it? I absolutely love the dice at the front, though. They are so cool. 
I think this is probably the best designed Hot Wheels car out of the bunch. I mean, no, they're all great, obviously, but my opinion, this is probably the most funkiest and it, it can't turn. Okay, or break. Look, 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 look at your dude. He's just like... Okay, I shouldn't have done that. that that's gone horribly. The wheels are just so random, man. This is like wheel spaces on a whole new level. There's wheel spaces and there's this. It's like a toilet with a mix of a car. How many memes can you get out of one car? Right, let's uh, let's take this into a race. Um, again, we'll keep it to a sprint race. Or can I can I take it into a street scene one? I know they're usually locked to S two, aren't they? You don't like the wheels, man. I think you're like one of the only people that don't like the wheels. I'm surprised. I I just I think it's so random. Can we use it? We can. Okay, cool. I'm not. <clears throat> I'm not going to put the uh, the V8 in because it, it, I don't think it increases speed that much anyway. But still, 170 miles an hour, not bad. Yo, Mouse, how you doing? Just tuned in. There are a few other cars if you want to go back through. This is currently the fifth car out of the bunch. It is the funkiest looking one. And it also can't turn very well. That AI just like ruined me and the uh, the other racer in front. Get out of the way. Yeah, I'm not too bad, man. Not too mad. Been enjoying this car pack. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, the car pack is out right now. If you want to pick it up. Yeah, how are you? How are you doing? Ooh. Right, I don't know. Are we going to be able to catch first place? Come on. Come on. Oh my god, the brakes as well. Jeez. Get in front of you. Come on. There we go. That's what we wanted. Ooh. Man, imagine a drift build for this. Could you imagine if this car turns out to be like one of the best vehicles to drift with? Do you know how cursed that would be? Like imagine just seeing like one of the top videos and it's this. Okay, right. <laughs> Almost sliding it into a tree. Anyone that's seen my Eliminator videos will know. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. Don't lose it here. Yeah, it's a very hard car to, st uh, to steer, that's for sure. Drift build. I'll do it at the end. I'm going to get some gameplay out first of all of the other cars because I want to make that into a video ideally. Um, and then after I've done that, I'll, um, I'll, I'll do some stuff with the cars. I'll do some drifting or potentially some drag racing. Hot Wheels Metro. Yeah, I, I really want the Eliminator to come to uh, Hot Wheels. And speed champions. They need to do updates for it, man. Like they did what? Two updates, I think, and then that was it. Let's quickly have a drink. One sec. Right, all good. Okay, so one last gander at the car. Right, and on to the last one, which is the thick wheelie boy. Uh, BMW I said, I know, it's crazy. Like, when I saw that just come out of nowhere, 
and people were getting like the top uh, top scores of an ice setter. I was like, how? Like, how is this actually a thing? <laughs> right here it is, the Ford F5 Julie Custom. Right. Kind of reminds me of something from Mad Max. I can't be the only one thinking that. Okay, the gear ratio is very short. Quite slow as well, but very, very cool. It just looks menacing. What's the interior looking like? Okay, so I feel like you can definitely drift with this thing. Man, imagine drifting with four wheels at the back of a car. It's going to feel so weird. Put a Kinder Egg library. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, oh man, this thing is sick. Absolutely awesome. All right, take it back to the festival and let's do... A good old upgrade on it. Hey, John, my dude, how are you doing? You got your video out. I know they, they've they just released a trailer, haven't they, for COD? So I'm assuming you probably have got the video out already if you're here. Right, custom upgrade. So every single one has the racing V8. Every single Hot Wheels car has the racing V8 by the looks of it. Okay. Yeah, look how awesome this is, man. Checkered flag on top. There's, ah, oh, two big old canises in the back. Obviously, the huge wheels. Yeah, this is awesome, man. Okay. Right. So again, it's all going to be quick, but that is fine. Yeah, if anyone hasn't already liked the stream, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could do so. We've got 90 viewers, that is mad. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, yeah, we're currently on the last car, so if you want to go back into the stream and see any of the other cars, you're more than welcome to. Currently, just going to do a max upgrade on this. I don't think it's going to be too speedy, which is which is fine. It's not built for speed. It's built for being an absolute powerhouse. <laughs> Look how slow it is. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I think what I'll do, if I try to drift it, I'll probably put the race in V8. Like, it'd have to be done. Um, do I want to put the race? Uh, nah. Won't change any of that. Nah, it's all good. Right, okay. So that is that done. So S1. Ah, that's all good. If people don't like it, they can just like that's that's how YouTube works, isn't it? It's probably because they either have to buy the pack or have missed the older cars. But it's all good. I appreciate you, uh, all of you that like the video. And yeah, they, oh, I've got to change the gear ratios, didn't I? Wait, I can tune it from here. Can I? I think I can. Yeah, I can. Cool. Don't worry, we're fine. I've saved it. Whew. Okay, right. Let's whack that all the way up. That's better. How many Eliminator wins have you got? I th I'm pretty sure it's reset. I, there's a way I can look, isn't there? Um, I'm pretty sure it reset my data for Eliminator, which is really annoying. Yeah, look. Games 1, 3. I can tell you for a fact. I mean, even if you look at my channel, you can see that I haven't won 3. <laughs> I've, I've won loads. I think in total I've won like 50 or 60. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. I know it's a bug going around, but yeah, it's pretty mad. Thoughts are kind of just, just did me dirty and they're like, right, we're going to take all of your Eliminator wins away from you. Like, why?
Right, it's a shame it's at night because I actually wanted to show you this. Um, but yeah, upgraded. Again, not too quick. But it's all good. Let's chuck it into a race. Um, right, let's go up in Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Let's do that one. Yeah, I've definitely won more. Definitely won more than three. That's for sure. Um, I don't know why it's not included in the Game Pass. More than likely because they just need to make some budget, obviously, for this game. So they probably released it as a standalone pack. Um, again, I personally think they did a lot with the um, Ultimate Edition already. So I was quite happy to pay for it. But again, I understand why people are obviously thinking it should be included, which is fine. It's all good. See you in a bit, Nathan. Cheers for tuning into the stream. I appreciate it. The gears feel really weird on this. It just, man, like imagine getting hit by this thing. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh no, he's had a nightmare. Rip. Can we get an F in chat for that dude? Oh no. My man pulled too much of a wheelie coming off the corner. Oh, we've got another Julie up front. It's, oh, it's not, is it? That's the... Um, oh, what's it called? I've already forgotten the name. Bone Shaker, that's the one. Oh, we got the Harvester at the front. I see you. You haven't got the second wing, though. Come on. All right, goodbye, Bone Shaker. Man, okay, I'm definitely... Yeah, I'm driving the Harvester again at some point. 100%. See you later. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I don't have the Ultimate Edition. I bought the Car Pass. Uh, so this isn't included with the Car Pass. It is a completely separate car pack. Uh, for about £8 or $10 roughly uh, on the store. Uh, to those of you that don't want to buy it, again, more than welcome to obviously watch the stream. I, I shall show you what is included. Um, but it will more than likely go down in price at some point, so if it's something you want to pick up maybe later on, it's probably the best bet. This is quite long as well, this, isn't it? Oh. That's so good, man. Thank you for tuning into the stream. I appreciate it. Uh, the two jets is very fast. I'll um, I'll hop back in it. So what I'm going to do after this race is uh, hop back into the two jets and uh, well, all of them to be fair, and just take them down the straight and see what their top speed is. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that thing will definitely go over 200. Yeah, it's just a very wide car, for sure. Very, very wide. And long. Right. Should be going back to daytime as well, which is cool. So yeah, here is the menacing machine. That is, don't want to butcher the name, the Ford F5 Geordie Custom. So yeah, it is available right now. If you've got Horizon 4 and you want to purchase a car pack, you can do. Right, what have I got? Have I got money? No, I don't. Damn. I do have, oh well, yeah, I've got money there, I guess. Right, okay, so let's get back into the two jets. Where is it? Hot Wheels. There it is. So yeah, I still think my favourite is probably this one, the two jets, and then, then the Harvester. It's got to be the Harvester. I mean, look how cool this is as well. Am I good at drifting? Um, I, I'm okay. I'm not like top tier drifting, but I'm not awful. You know, I, I'm a good mix. I used to be horrendous. I remember, oh, what was it? Forza Motorsport Three. Um, because I was I was a big noob back then. Like, how, how old would I have been then? I don't even know. Um, 
but yeah, I couldn't drift to save my life. Like, I couldn't even get 100,000 points on a drift run down uh, Fujimi. It was awful. <laughs> it's not free of ultimate, no. Ooh. Okay, yeah, it gets over 200. Come on. Very quick. Oh man, this feels sick. Look at this. It's like being in an aircraft, isn't it? I literally, that's obviously the design of it. It looks so cool. Okay, so 239 it tops out at. Can we get it to 240? Eh, nope. No, okay. That's all good. Okay, it's 240. So yeah, I'll test the top speed of all of them. And then I shall attempt some drifting in them as well. Uh, the car pack isn't free, unfortunately, no. It is something you have to buy. Right, a change car. I've got it as a pinned comment. Um, it, yeah, if you check out in the store, it's, it's not too bad. Uh, what was next? It was the Chevrolet Love, wasn't it? Shall I see if anyone's got a tune available for it, thinking about it? What have we got? A huge wheelie. Okay, right, it's getting done. It's happening. That's all good, man. Thank you for tuning into the stream. Oh, okay. Hopefully you've just seen that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much. Right, let's try that again. That is sick. Okay. Very impressive. I, I knew it could pull a wheelie. So what's that? Is that like four cars in this game that can do a wheelie now? The big question is though, can it reach 200? Prob mm, I don't know. I'm about to find out. Come on. Nah, I think it's going to get like, what, 193? Why is there a van just chilling? What are you doing, bro? Nah, can't even get one. Come on, 192. Come on. Yes, okay, right, I'll take it. So not only can this thing pull insane wheelies, but it can also reach 190 miles an hour. All right, let's see. One more wheelie for the road. <laughs> so cool okay that is sick right let's take it back and we've now got the beast the harvester where is it okay that that's actually awesome the chevrolet love can pull wheelies right hot wheels there it is with the two wang gang I, I still find it so weird that you can put a wing on top of the wing. But hey, makes it unique. Right, so this is with the engine swap. Um, I think without it, unfortunately, it wouldn't reach... Oh, well, it can only go 165? Yeah, 6, 7, 8? No, 167, okay. So it's not very quick, but that's fine. So good. Right, well, we're just going to end that there because, yeah, that's not too quick at all. Hey, Snowy, how you doing? Right, what do we have next? I can't remember. I can't remember, to be honest. They're all in order. Uh, oh, the Studebaker, that was it. Right, I don't think I did an engine swap to it, did I? It's still very fast regardless, so... The bathtub. Right. Okay, it's faster than the harvester. That's what I like to see. I wonder which one out of all of these will be the best at drifting. It's got to be the Julie, surely. Or possibly the um, Metropolitan. Come on, 180. 
Come on. Seven, eight. Nah, it can't do it. Rip, it can't do it. Okay, so 178 for that one. So the fastest so far is the two jets. Oh, yeah, for drag racing, I'm sure it's sick. Um, change car. Right. Here comes the funky Nash Metropolitan again. Here we go. No, I'm playing with a controller. Xbox Elite controller. Um, right. Right, that cone's egg's going to absolutely rip past me in a moment. I'm, just, I'm waiting for it. Come on. What can you do? Yep, see you later. I ain't keeping up with them. Okay, so it's quite slow. Or is it? Come on, 180. Yes. 183. Yep, 183 miles an hour. Okay, top speed for this is 183. Cool beans. And the last one is the Julie. Are you going to play some shooter games in the future? Are you going to stick to racing games? Uh, for content on this channel specifically, uh, it will be racing games, obviously mainly Forza. Um, on Twitch, I'll probably stream Valorant and shooter games and any other racing games. So if any of you want to follow me on there, I'm going to plug it. If any of you want to follow me on there, um, I will more than likely stream at some point in the future. Uh, probably Valorant, because I'm playing that at the moment. Really enjoying it. So yeah. Right, um, I, I, I upgraded it, didn't I? But I, let's have a look if there's a tune available. Tuning setups. What have we got? S1900 Road, Race Tune Max. Ooh, we like to see that, Drift Monster. Right, I'll download and save that. Um. Hmm. Okay, we'll go with that. See what this thing can do. Closing in on 60 likes as well. If anyone hasn't already liked the stream, I'd appreciate it. Okay, right. This is probably going to compete with the two jets for acceleration. That is insane. Absolutely insane. Oh, my. All right, let's give them two jets to run for its money. Come on, get 200. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. Okay, so yeah, it tops out about 200. Yeah, it's very fast, very, very quick. Right. Okay, so that's the top speed for all of the uh, all of the new Hot Wheels cars. So now we're going to take them over to uh, Fortune Island and attempt to drift some of them. So let's see how that goes. Yeah, and keep in mind, I'm not the best drifter. I say that I've, I think I've got like 500,000 or something on the drift zone. Uh, but compared to some of the other guys, I'm not like God tier. So... Uh, is Horizon 4 worth it? Uh, for sure, yeah. Uh, probably the, the most developed game they've ever released. Uh, Horizon 2 is also fantastic. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, let's put the drift build on. I think I saved it, didn't I? Yeah. Let's have a look. Uh, Max Drift Monster. All right. Don't let me down. Please tell me this is a good build. Uh, Forza Horizon 5 is coming out uh, either this year or next year I th I've got a feeling it will be Motorsport this year and then Horizon next year but I'm happy with either yeah U Ultimate has been really cheap is this a good drift build? I hope so that's all good cheers Obama, cheers for uh, tuning in take it easy my dude Okay, right, it can drift. They haven't let me down. Uh, 
that I've let myself down. Guys, I apologise. <laughs> It's got a lot of power, but it doesn't seem to do it, like, obviously going off the corner. Hmm. I'm not really a fan of this uh, tune, in all honesty. It can slide, but, hmm. Okay, no, that's better. I saved it. Oh. So I'm like, I'm proper concentrating. I'll catch up after I've done this run. I'm sure you guys understand. Doesn't help that it's raining. Oh man, okay, I butchered that corner. Okay, 300, yeah, okay, right, I'll take it. 300k, right, what's everyone saying? Hey, John, cheers for streaming, the, uh, cheers for streaming, cheers for joining the stream. That's the words I was meant to get out of my mouth. Have you explored Fortune Island in a thunderstorm? I have indeed, and it is absolutely magnificent. Right, we're going to go back into the cars. I'm going to go from reverse this time. So we've got the Nash Metropolitan. <laughs> The funky car, we're going to do it. We're going to drift the meme car down the mountain. To us, I feel like I don't even need to put a tune on this, but I'm sure someone's probably already got one. Surely. New A-Class Dirt. Grip V8. There we go. Right. We'll take that. What? What on earth? How is it that quick? Mad. That's all good, bro. I'll see you in a bit. No, they changed the wheels. Not like this. Oh, man, F. Okay, right. This is way too far. Oh, my. I literally can't control it. Oh, man. Um, I do actually have a... Uh, I, okay, I can't control this car. This is going to be awful. This is <laughs> this is going to be awful. Um, I do have a wheel. I just don't use it. I haven't really got the space for it either. Am I British? I am indeed. Okay, yeah, right. I can't. Ugh. This has got to be one of the hardest cars to drift. Look at it. Like, it just keeps going. What are you meant to do? <laughs> okay, right. This is the funnest car to drive. I take back my statement from earlier because you can't drive this thing. Oh my gosh. What on earth is going on? Guys, I can promise you this is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> this is this is insane. Uh, yeah, I think they released it uh, about an hour ago now, or ha however long I've been streaming for was when they released it. Take out that barrier. Who needs barriers, eh? Yeah, raining plus this. This is like the worst combination. This is mad. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, this is this is by far the best car from this pack. This is insane. The wheels just look so weird. Okay, I'm literally I don't even I don't even care. I'm I'm having fun. I don't care. I'm curious to see if Dubs will do. I'm sure he will, but I'm curious to see if he'll do a video specifically with this car. I want to see how he takes this down the mountain. 
because it is insane. It's absolutely insane. Right, we could have probably got 400,000 if I didn't mess up that last corner, but I don't care. I had a lot of fun with that. Okay, this is this is by far the best one. It looks so stupid, yet so awesome at the same time. Right, it stopped raining as well. Yeah, I was honestly surprised that it released so soon. I thought it was going to be like end of March we get this car pack. But hey, we're all surprised. Yeah, almost. Imagine how sick a reverse drift in that bad boy would have been. Right, Studebaker next. Has someone made a tune, please? Awesome A class. Drift God. Uh, see if there's any others. I think I've just used theirs, actually, haven't I? Okay, I'll go with that one. No, they've changed the wheels. Ah, oh. And there's an engine swap. Right, here we go. What's this one? Right, okay. This one's a lot more controllable than the Metropolit... Uh, whatever it's called. I, I keep butchering the name. I'm just going to call it the meme car. Anyone in the stream, you'll know exactly what I mean. I'm going to restart that. That was horrific. We didn't see that. We did not see that. We go again. Oh man, okay. All right. It's just getting a different feel. Like every single car is obviously it's gonna feel different. So it's going from one car to another. It's quite a jump. Very hard to keep this one on the road as well. It's got a lot of power. Can't tell what engine swap this is as well. Very good at building points, though. What was the car I said I was going to do a uh, drag race in? Was it the... Oh, yeah, it's the Viper, isn't it? Uh, how did I not realise that? <laughs> how did I not realise this was a Viper? Thank you for letting me know. Um, yeah, I think once I've, like, drifted a few of them... Um, I'll do a drag race to end it with, uh, what was it, the, is it the Julie I said I was going to do it with? Just think of a Fast and Furious movie, yep, as I almost throw it completely, completely down the mountain. Just yeeting off the cliff at the last second. Feels very weird, like look at it. You can probably get the back end out though. Right, we're gonna end on 400k. Nope, we're not, we're just gonna go straight off. <laughs> we're just gonna send it off instead. Ah, that's all good. 364. Awesome. Right. Back up we go. Three more times. So next up is... What was it? Is it the Harvester? I think it is, isn't it? It is. Oh, it is the Harvester. Hello. And yes, it's still... Oh, that's the point. If I take the tune I've currently got now, it's going to get rid of the, the big wang. Rip. I don't think I'll be able to drift it like this, will I? Nah. Oh, that's a shame. Right, let's have a look. I'm going to have to sacrifice the Wang. Jim Carner truck. Well, it's by Don Joe on song, so I'm sure... I'm sure it, you can... What? Right. First of all, we're going to do this. 
and then we're gonna change it to drifting. Like if this if it can wheelie, that, that's got to be seen first. <laughs> Indeed, John, you do love a good harvester. It's been too long, man. Oh rip, it's gone. Right. Where was the um where was that tune? Where is it? Where's the meme? Uh my tunes. Wheelie. Oh god, here we go. I I honestly can't believe that this is a I can't believe it. It can actually do it. Or can it? No. What? It can't wheelie. I've, I've been bumped. It can't. Am I doing something wrong? It doesn't wheelie. Wow. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? <laughs> okay, it doesn't wheelie. Right, back to the drawing board. Jim Carner truck. There we go. Just purchased Forts of this afternoon. Hey, you love to see it. You're going to have a lot of fun with this. Very, very good game. Oh man, okay, this is sick. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is awesome. This is like... <laughs> this is just mad. Who needs all the Hootenagen cards when you can just have this? Are we going to get our point record in this thing? Start on a few points, rip. Oh yeah, it looks awesome. Like all the designs in every single car is insane. Probably the most designed Hot Wheels cars as well that I've ever seen. Okay, 378k. This is mad to drive around. Look at it go. Right, so we got two more cars left. We've got the Wheelie Boy and we've got the two jets. Right, um, Hot Wheels, where is it? Chevrolet Love. I'm going to have to pull one more wheelie. I think I've still got that tune on, haven't I? Oh, I do. <laughs> it's, so, <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, man, it's awesome. No, I want a wheelie again. There we go. <laughs> that is sick. Right. Have we got a drift build? Godlike drifting. Well, with something like that, you can't go wrong, really, can you? What's the best car in the pack? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, in all honesty, I like all of them. Um, I, I, why do they change the wheels on this? Um, I'd probably say the most fun is the Nash, easily. It just it looks like a tuned car. The spaces are absolutely crazy. Um, I don't know. They're, they're all unique in their own little way, to be fair. Uh, the two jets is just... It's a little aircraft, really. So, right. This drift build is not very good at all. Or is it? Am I just doing it wrong? No, it doesn't feel very good. I don't like that. Um, but yeah, they've all got their unique things to them, as you just saw possibly with the um, 
Uh, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. I'm thinking of it. The Harvester. That's the one. Uh, that one is, again, <laughs> very fun. To just throw it around. Throw something as big as that. And you can have two wings on it. Like, that's perfect. I love how you can change tune and still continue your drift. Uh, this one's just got a massive engine in the back of it, which is, you know, very unique. Oh, I kept it. I saved it. Not then. Oh. Goodbye, barriers. Uh, it's entirely up to you. I personally am actually very glad that I bought it. Um, I will more than likely use these cards at some point again as well. Um, but for me, obviously, it's content at the end of the day. Uh, so if it's something you think you'll get enjoyment out of, uh, then by all means do so. But completely up to you. Racking up skill points. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Sixty, yeah right one more car which is the one that i've been looking forward to not necessarily for drifting but for potentially drag but the two jets yeah the harvester is wild absolutely wild right hot wheels here we go the two jets and do, 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 do. Yes, officer, it's stock. <laughs> Wet circuit, drag tyres, oh no. Uh, Hot Wheels, best, uh, dirt snow, drift boss. Rear wheels. Have we got an all-wheel? Wheelie. Mm, I've already been played on once, I ain't doing that again. Right. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, yep. Right, this is rapid. No, it's too wet. <laughs> oh my God, please don't. Right, let's take that one nice and easy. There we go. Right, if it was dry, hopefully it stops raining halfway into this. I think it's just too quick. It, it, it can't even, like, it literally can't control itself. Yeah, there's, there's too much rain. <laughs> Stop raining. There's, just, there's no grip. I'm literally not even. I'm not even tapping A. I'm just driving. It's too fast. It ain't built for this. Come on, don't spin out again. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it does have 1300 horsepower and also it doesn't weigh anything. I think it literally weighs like 800 kilograms, which I say isn't, I mean, you know, for a car, it's not a lot. 
this thing weighs absolutely nothing, it's still going to pull out with like 350k points. And that was probably one of the worst runs I've had. Okay, 330. Yeah, so this for drifting, hopefully in dry weather. Is it dry now? It is, isn't it? Okay, I might, I might quickly give it a go again. Just see if there would be any difference. Come on, has it, it's got drag tyres on it, hasn't it? Why have they put drag tyres on it? Well, it looks like it anyway. No wonder there's no grip. That's better. Didn't hear any of this before, did we? Okay, right, I've messed that one up. Right, okay, so yeah, that's all of them. So out of all the ones that can drift, I'd probably say, what would the best one be? Um, I'd probably say best one for drifting, it's gotta be, was it the Nash? I think it was, wasn't it? I'd probably say that's the best one for drifting. Uh, the two jets is by far the quickest. That one's just all, to be honest, they're all fun. But we're going to give this one a go with a drag build. Let's see what we got there. Have we got a drag tune? This one, road, max, race, drag. Right, okay. Is it worth it? Um, in my eyes, I've really enjoyed it. I've, I think it's... Eight pounds or whatever it cost me, well spent. Right, let's take it back to the mainland. Uh, but a lot of people are saying it's not. So again, it's entirely up to you. Uh, how do we get back? Travel to Great Britain, there we go. Ooh. Okay. I still feel like the two jets is going to be quicker. I don't know why. Uh, what do we need? Drag strip. I don't want that. There we go. Hey, thank man. I'm, I'm glad you enjoy the content. Right, let's do solo. Let's just do that. There we go. Right, let's have a look. Um, so I haven't got the proper setup on. Um, I actually have no idea how you do that. Um, so give or take like maybe a second at the end. And that's like its true potential for a drag. But as you can see, it doesn't matter. <laughs> It's still very quick. Yeah, this literally... I mean, I'm pretty sure there is a car very similar to this in GTA, isn't there? So, what? 8.5 seconds. So I feel like if I did it properly, it could probably get maybe very high 7. Yeah, I reckon it could. So that's what that got. So let's have a look and see what the two jets can do. Because that is also a very fast accelerating car. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Hot Wheels. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Creative Hub, Tuna Setups. I th I'm sure I saw a drag one, didn't I? Hmm. That's not Max, though. That's what we, we want Max. Drift, drag. Okay, right, so this one will potentially be quicker than the Jewelry. I can't say I'm not surprised, you know, considering how fast this was before. Like, you can already see, and I'm not even doing it properly, you can already see that it's going to be quick. Yeah, honestly, the, the Jewelry literally looks like something from Mad Max. It's just got that vibe.
Right, here we go. You reckon? Man, that, that Monaco, that's been undefeated for ages, hasn't it? But, I mean, who knows? If someone's, like, sick at tuning, then yeah. Oh, my God. That was insane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two jets is very quick. I'm going to do that again and not speak so you guys can just literally hear how, just how insane it is. It's actually mad. That is so quick. 7.6 seconds. That's insane. Okay, well, yeah, it could be a very good contender to the Monaco. That is mad. It's not going to go. It's still got six gears. I, I reckon. Yeah, that. Oh. Should we see what it's like on the juggernaut, actually? If it's any good for that. Where is it? I think you won. Yeah, by an absolute landslide. You got a question? Yeah, sure. What's cracking? What's on your mind? Right. I already know we're going to leave all of these behind us. Are you ready? Here we go again. Oh, okay. Nah, see you later. Goodbye. <laughs> he gave it a shot, bless him. Okay, two jets is insanely quick. This is like the new Chad for drag racing. Please don't nerf it. Please keep it like this. Oh my gosh. That's all good, man. Thank you for tuning into the stream. You too. Alright, do not go off the course. Yeah, they're all, they're all gone, man. Two jets confirmed to be just absolutely insane. Oh my gosh. I'm literally like blown away by just that car. That's nuts. Look how cool his name is as well, just two jets. Yeah, I like that tune. That's a sick tune. Oh, my game's froze. Hello? No, we're back. All right, and there we go. I think that is, uh, I think that was a good taste of everything. Been streaming for almost two hours, which is insane. Time just gets away when you stream, huh? Um, so I think we're going to end it there. Obviously, I'm going to do uh, one more thing, and that is uh, obviously pull a wheelie <laughs> in the Chevrolet Love. Uh, this will more than likely be made into a video, or I'll just make the whole stream public. So if you if you did miss anything and you're just tuning in now, you're more than welcome to go back into the stream um, and have a look at everything else. Uh, I need to put the right tune on. Uh, yeah, I use every car individually in races, uh, tune them all, upgrade them and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, where is it? Huge wheelie, that is what we want. Literally, it is literally like a jet. With that tune, it is mad. Oh, yeah, it can. Are you ready? I'm going to wheelie it. <laughs> it is so cool. <laughs> Especially when it's just got a massive engine in the back. <laughs> Literally, like, you'd never get bored of doing this. Might, I, I might change the thumbnail to me just pulling a sick wheelie with this car. Alright, I'll do, I'll do one more. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So yeah, thank you very much everyone for tuning in. Uh, it's been a while since I've streamed, but I appreciate so many of you turning up and tuning in, supporting in the chat. Oh, 
again, really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, we are close to 80 likes, so if any of you haven't uh, already dropped a like rating, I would. Uh, it would mean the world. Uh, it really helps out. But yeah, I shall be streaming again hopefully soon. So just keep an eye on the channel. If you've got notifications on, you'll be notified when I go live. Um, I'll hopefully do a open lobby soon as well. So anyone that wants to jump in, uh, you're more than welcome to do so. But yeah, the Hot Wheels Legends car pack. I personally really enjoyed it. All of the cars are very fun to drive. Um, obviously, you don't have to buy it if you don't want to. But again, entirely up to you. But yeah, thank you very much, everyone. And I shall see you later. Adios.